Look at the little eyeballs. Welcome to day eight. Today I'm making pumpkin foods. It's gonna make you inflate. We love pumpkin spice lattes. We love pumpkin Oreos. Are there pumpkin Oreos? That sounds good. But what about savory pumpkin items? There is actually a recipe for pumpkin lasagna. That's what I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna make pumpkin lasagna, pumpkin spice latte, of course, cause you gotta have a beverage, and then pumpkin muffins for dessert. What you going, what you going to do with the dessert? Do I do any that? So first we're gonna make the lasagna. Like I saw it and I was like, wow, I wanna make this. But then once I actually read what you have to do when you make it, it made me just a little, little, little bit stressed out. So I measured out a few things just to like have it ready. The kitchen's hot. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. You know, I heated up those noodles. I almost burned my hand off. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. Like this is something that would be in some fancy restaurant, it seems like. The way they describe things, it's like fresh parsley. And I'm like, who uses fresh parsley? Probably a lot of people, but like not me. So here's what it's supposed to look like. Place the pumpkin puree in a fine sieve over a bowl. Set aside to drain while you make the sauce. We're talking about baking a pumpkin, a real pumpkin. Ever heard of Libby's? Libby is a great lady. You should probably meet her. Mine's gonna be the same, except like not fresh. <laughs> little eyeballs. Add the onion and saute until translucent six to seven minutes and then we're gonna add garlic, sausage, wine, got great value red wine and vinegar, and then add tomato sauce, herbs. This is gonna be hard, okay. <laughs> Me realizing what I just got myself into. I won't lie. I won't lie. The only thing I know how to cook is omelets, but I've seen TV. So we already cut up the onion, so we're gonna put that on there. Ooh, look at me. Like I've smelled this smell of like cooked onion, but like I've never done it. So I feel kind of proud of myself. It says to add sausage and cook until it's brown. So we got a pound of spicy town sausage. That looks scrumptious. This is not a cooking technique. Red wine vinegar. That was not a good idea. I forgot about the vinegar part. My hand cramping up. Now we're gonna get a huge can of tomato sauce and also put that in there. The moment we've all been waiting for. That sounds familiar. It smells like sloppy joes. All right, so now we're gonna add the spices. I'm gonna add that right in there. There's the salt. Probably like a pinch. I'm just trying to look like salt bay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious stuff right there. <coughs> I feel like Rachel Ray. It says to cover it. Do I like cover it all the way or like leave a vent? Okay, she said leave a vent. It says to cook the noodles, but I've already done that. If you stay ahead of the game, there is no game. Mix the pumpkin with the egg. Cooking is a lot of stress. One cup of pumpkin. <coughs> Every time with that pepper. This just seems so watery. It's like, well that part, it's like chunky and watery. Me. I searched far and wide through the aisles of the grocery store, but I couldn't find Romano cheese. The only thing I could find was Italian style, which has Romano in it. 
I use that. It's all cheese. It's all good. It like morphed to the shape of this container. It's like cranberry. It's like cranberry sauce, but with cheese. Why did I say cranberry? It's like cranberry. I watched Zoella too much when I was 15. Like when you cook stuff, you see the food for like how it really is instead of just stuff in your face. And it kind of changes your view. I'm gonna put a little bit extra in there. Not the best smell. The reality of 3 a.m. Does this, wonders why my skin breaks out. So now we're gonna start layering it, which is the most exciting part. Start with a layer of sauce, then top with a layer of noodles. That reminds me of that episode of Friends where she's like, a layer of lady fingers, jam, beef sauteed with peas and onions. First there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then beef sauteed with peas and onions, <laughs> then a little bit more custard. No, I put too much mozzarella. It's okay. We'll be okay. It's practice makes perfect, but like I don't have time to practice. So like, What a beauty. So now I'm gonna put it in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. So while we're waiting, we're gonna make a PSL. Now I've been drinking this vanilla caramel creamer. Forget her. We're gonna make a pumpkin spice latte. Also on Food Network's website. It only has four out of five stars. Someone must have gotten angry. Cup of milk, vanilla extract. I love the smell of vanilla extract. A lot better than that red wine vinegar. That was not the move. So it says to add the coffee first. We don't have much coffee. Oh, it's probably gonna be hot on my hand. Probably. Extraordinary is Eve out. Steam burns are real people. Now we have to vigorously whisk it. Somehow didn't get everywhere. High five. Pop with whipped cream. <sighs> Starbucks. Fire me. They should have people who just sprinkle on the top of Starbucks drinks and call them sprinkler systems. Not too sweet, which I like. Me after I've had my morning coffee. <laughs> That was triggering. So lasagna should be ready. It's bubbling to the high heavens. Volcanoes be like. Looks pretty good, NGO. Wow. Just like a blob. A good blob, hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna try a bite. I'm scared. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Is this actually good? That is good. The pieces of sausage are gigantic, but it's about it. So I'd give it a good nine out of 10. I'm a chef, y'all. And think about if I had made it actually fresh. Okay, so it's the next day and we're gonna make the pumpkin spice muffins because we can't not. This recipe is from a cooking classy, never heard of her, but she's looking promising. Pumpkin muffins along with a cup of warm cider is the perfect way to enjoy a cold fall morning. They're deliciously tender and no one can resist. Me. Look at how many ads are on here. It's like, oh, there's an ad. Oh, there's one. Well, that was it. I learned in cooking class that you're not supposed to like press it down because that m it messes up the measurements, but I just did that. Public apology to my home ec teacher. People didn't take home ec seriously. And I was like, I'm going to take this seriously because this is the class I'm going to use the most out of any of <laughs> What's the difference between baking powder and baking soda? Both powders, technically. I don't see Coca-Cola sponsoring baking soda. Wife me up. <laughs> Wife me up.
Baking and cooking, I used to think they were like the same thing, but baking, it's a lot harder to mess up and everybody likes it. I mean, like who doesn't like muffins? If you don't like muffins, that's okay. One and one fourth cups of sugar. And I also had cake for breakfast, so this isn't looking as appetizing as usually would. You know you're an adult and you have no trouble opening the cans. Batter will be slightly bumpy. My face. Oh. <gasps> Insta girls cooking. See you in 20 to 25 minutes. Alright, let's try it. Wow, she really did that. I give that a 10 out of 10. Cooking classy. Y'all have your recipe. Oh. Ew, no, that's not gonna be the thumbnail.